ऐसे और वीडियोस के लिए मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट It has been observed by planners and demographers that beyond an optimum level of urbanization the rate of depletion of the surrounding hinterland becomes faster eventually causing decay in urbanization and urban poverty hence to sustain urbanization it is required that it must be kept within the optimal limits it has been observed that unequal distribution of population results in unequal distribution of resources and fast concentrating in the urban clusters the urbanization in these countries has been faster than the rate of industrialization it is more due to the rising concentration of population this has led to urban poverty social tension and crime unfortunately when industrialized countries are giving up the large city norms the developing countries are still continuing on the same trend by 1990 18 out of 24 largest cities of the world were in these countries during the international conference on population and development in 1994 it was apparent that there were greater realization among the developing countries about the interrelationship between the population and development low levels of technological progress coupled with rapid population growth was placing immense strain on the social and economic programs there was unanimity on the issue that population growth must be balanced with sustainable socio economic development and the regenerative capacity of the natural environment it must be realized that the present generation of men is the trustee of entire biodiversity we are also the custodians of the interests of future generations our teeming numbers can grow only at the cost of delicate balance in nature a further increase in our numbers will encroach greatly upon the chances of our future generations it is observed that persistent widespread poverty and serious social inequalities do influence population growth and its distribution therefore it is sought that the population should be integrated as a major issue in the development strategies and planning at all levels or all our calculations and policy initiatives will go haywire if we fail to integrate population issue in the broader development strategy there is now a distinctive rise in social awareness on population issues majority of countries have formulated their respective comprehensive population policies and population has become an issue high on their national agenda in our campaign against the numbers our focus has been to control the birth rate and linkage to small family we emphasize linkage between small family norm and greater opportunities for human resources development beyond economic logic and policy the problem has its sociological dimensions as well we will have to focus on the major sociological factors that can influence the population issue social attitudes towards women is one such factor traditionally women are deprived of a role in decision making at all levels from family to the highest policy making fora this attitude has to be changed the need to give women decision making rights were recognized by the icpd in 1994 further in beijing at fourth world women conference 
द नीड फॉर ओवरऑल एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ वीमेन वॉज डिमांडेड दैट इंक्लूड्स एडुकेशन हेल्थ एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑपरचुनिटीज पॉलिटिकल एंड इकोनॉमिक एम्पावरमेंट ऑल दीज एरियाज हैव रिमेंड relegated to background for centuries we have charged our family planning programs to more comprehensive family welfare programs on similar lines i think more focused approach to women's empowerment is also required to supplement our policy initiatives in population stabilization achieving equality between men and women is an accepted global norm and such a commitment by itself is a hallmark for a democratic civilized society further it has been recognized that empowerment of women has a significant bearing over the demographic issues at icpd it has been recognized that population and development programs are most effective when steps have simultaneously been taken to improve the status of women among the developing countries where a substantial part of the economy is in unorganized sector much of inputs and outputs of the workforce of women remain unrecognized women control most of the non monetary economy like subsistence agriculture domestic labor and bearing and raising the children they also play significant part in money economy like household industries informal sector wage labor etc in spite of their contributions the index of human development like education health employment and life expectancy remain low in case of women ignoring the needs of women has resulted in uncontrolled population growth high infant and child mortality rates weak micro and macro level economy and overall deterioration in the human development index and social development though they remain the basic cohesive force in the family and are the custodian of values in a traditional social milieu women have few choice in life outside the marriage and bearing and rearing of children we cannot afford to exclude them from having equal opportunities as men in life they not only constitute about half of population but also influence the future generations more significantly investment and in women should be seen in this light it will mean better life